Welcome everyone, this is the little sommelier. So today, new tasting notes. Um, as you can see, I'm not in a bar. I'm back home, I'm back in my bedroom. I came back from Asia because I was uh, near China and the virus was spreading. So it started to be too much risky uh, to stay there. So I decided uh, to uh, come back to my hometown uh, and do new tasting notes. So we're going to do tasting notes on uh, this bottle. This bottle is called uh, La Villageoise. It came from the uh, company uh, Castel. Castel is a big group uh, from France. Um, it was created in 1949. Just to give you a rough idea of the size of the company, uh, they make in 2013 7.5 billion euros. Um, it's one of the biggest uh, company of wine in the world. Um, they created this wine um, in uh, 1992 when they bought uh, La Société des Vins de France, which is like uh, a wine merchant uh, in France back in the time. And when they bought it, they created this brand, La Villageoise. La Villageoise, it's a really well-known wine in France. But why? This bottle, it's a 1.5 uh, liter uh, plastic bottle with 11% alcohol by volume. It's a red wine. It's a one from the uh, European community. That means the grape came from everywhere in Europe. Uh, they, they can be blend and mix, and this is probably the case. Uh, and it's really well known for one reason. It's because it's really cheap. To give you a rough idea, this bottle, I bought it in a, in a French supermarket. I bought it for 3.33 euros but it's a 1.5 liter, like it's a magnum. That means for a normal bottle, half of it, it will cost 1.66 euros. That's cheap, that's really cheap. And in France, it's famous or infamous for this reason, because it's well known to be liked uh, by drunk people and alcoholic because of the price. It's also really well known to be used in France for uh, cooking. And it's also well known by some gossip that it's a uh, taste really bad that gives you a uh, headaches, stomach aches. So let's go for the tasting notes and let's go for the appearance first of all. So on the condition, it's uh, clear. On the intensity, pale with a ruby color, a little bit purple, but I will say more ruby than purple. Then on the nose, let's have a sniff. The condition is uh, clean. We have medium minus intensity. Yeah, medium minus light, but I would say medium minus. We have uh, some aroma um, such as red fruit with a strawberries, red currant. We have herbaceous aroma such as uh, grass, tomato leaf, asperges. It's also like feel uh, bitter. It smells like cat pee. There is no secondary aroma, there is no tertiary aroma. Uh, on the development, it's useful, I didn't tell you, but there is no vintage on this wine. Now let's go for the taste and have a sip. It's a dry wine uh, with a medium plus acidity. We have um, medium minus body, low tannin. Um, they are sharp and astringent, but I don't really feel them. Alcohol level is 11% alcohol by volume, so that means it's a low alcohol by volume in this wine. Uh, on the flavor intensity, I would say it's a light. Um, I feel not anymore that much the uh, red fruit uh, I was smelling in the aroma. Flavor characteristic, it matched the nose. For the finish, it's short. Uh, I feel quickly the red fruit and then it's gone and it's go for the airbrush shoes, the bitter uh, flavor, this um, cat pee uh, flavor as well. And it, everything gone really quickly and you just have like uh, alcohol taste in, in, the, in the mouth. Uh, so for the conclusions, um, for the quality level, I will be in between poor and acceptable. Uh, I will be able to defend myself for poor. Because um, first of all for the poor, why? I think it's unbalanced. I think it doesn't taste good. Uh, you have like this uh, cat pee and bitter uh, taste and aroma. 
um, also the industry is not good. Um, but I will be able also to say it's acceptable. Why? Because at the end, that's not that bad. That's not good, I agree. But at the end, uh, it doesn't taste that bad. And I think you will be able to say it's acceptable for this reason. Because at the end, that's okay. And for the price, you couldn't expect something else. Uh, for the uh, level of readiness for drinking and potential for aging, of course, you have to drink it right now. And it's not suitable for aging or for the aging. Okay, quick recap on the testing notes. It was La Villageoise Red Wine by Castel Group from the European Union. On the appearance, it was clear with a pale intensity. On the color, it was red ruby. On the nose, it was clean on the condition, medium minus on the intensity. For the aroma characteristics, we have primary aroma with red fruit, strawberry, red currant, herbaceous aroma with grass, tomato leaf, and asparagus. We have other primary aroma such as cat pea. And on the development, it was useful. For the palate, the sweetness was dry, the acidity was medium plus, the body was medium minus, the tannin was low, the alcohol low, the flavor intensity light, the flavor characteristics match the nose. For the finish, it was short. On the conclusions, the quality level is poor and the level of weakness for drinking, potential for aging, drink now, not suitable for aging or further aging. Uh, I hope you like this video, I hope you like this uh, new content, new kind of content, uh, where I try to tell you something different, um, because it's different for me, I'm not used to doing this kind of things, but I think it's really important to try uh, every uh, kind of wine, uh, because that's still a wine and that's still interesting to have uh, uh, a tasting notes on this kind of wine. So yes, so I hope you like this video, I will see you the next time, and uh, see you!